When the Houston Texans traded running back Mark Ingram to the Saints yesterday, wide receiver Brandon Cooks tweeted out some words of disappointment, sparking a ton of trade rumors that would fall over the next 24 hours. So should the New York Jets trade for wide receiver Brandon Cooks? Find out in today's video. Now, it is pretty obvious that Brandon Cooks does not want to play for the Houston Texans, but that doesn't mean they are going to trade him. We've seen multiple times in the NFL where players do not want to be a part of their teams and continue to play for them. And I don't see any reason to why the Texans would want to trade Cooks other than he doesn't want to be a part of their team anymore. I mean, he is the best receiver they have on their team. They have a rookie quarterback, David Mills, and the best way to ruin his development is by trading away his best receiver. He's also a good locker room guy. He has been a part of multiple winning cultures he's been to two super bowls and this is a young team the texans have one of the youngest teams in the nfl and having a guy like cooks who's been around a lot of winning teams in the past to kind of you know share those experience with those guys is very important in terms of building a successful team but the texans have been going on a fire sale very recently they traded away their starting running back mark ingham yesterday and one of their best defensive players in whitney merciless they actually released him last week so they have been going on a fire sale, getting rid of players that are not part of their future, and Brandon Cooks, who is 28 years old, is definitely not a part of their future. So getting a day to pick in exchange for a receiver not a part of your future is definitely something the Houston Texans are going to be interested in, and I think that's the way they go. Meaning, he's probably going to get traded, but to who? And this leads us to our next part of the video. Should the New York Jets trade for wide receiver Brandon Cooks? Yes. I don't see why we wouldn't. Brandon Cooks is a very good receiver. He has gone over a thousand yards five times in his eight year career and is currently on pace to have a thousand yards once again this season. And Brandon Cooks, you know, the only times he hasn't gone over a thousand yards were whenever he was a rookie and whenever he was a part of a very crowded receiver room that featured Cooper Cup and Robert Woods. So Brandon Cooks is a good receiver. He's one of the most consistent in the NFL. I mean, what players in the NFL can show you a stat sheet like his. I mean, Brandon Cooks has a lot of talent and is very consistent with it. He doesn't miss a lot of games. He's played pretty much full seasons for a majority of his career. So getting a healthy receiver for Zach Wilson, that is also a very good deep threat is something that the New York Jets should be interested in. I mean, Brandon Cooks is your most realistic option at getting a true wide receiver number one. Pairing up Cooks with Corey Davis is something the New York Jets should definitely look into. That would definitely stunt Zach Wilson's development. Again, I mean, getting him Brandon Cooks is going to make Wilson a better player, no doubt about it. I mean, we all have a ton of draft capital in the next two drafts, so I don't see why we wouldn't trade for Cooks. So yes, the New York Jets should trade for wide receiver Brandon cooks and hopefully if he lands somewhere it's to the new york jets well that's all i got for you guys today if you ended up enjoying let me know by hitting the subscribe and like button check me out on instagram twitter and tiktok at jude underscore jets for more content and i'm your host jude signing off for now see you later peace <laughs>